Having Node.js and getting it to work with Svel can lead you into issues because of the cross-domain uh, security. That means that Svel will be running on port 5000 when you develop and Node.js in port, let's say, 80. So in this short video, we'll show you how we overcome that issue. And if you want to see how I do with PHP and Apache, just look at the video description. I have the same video for that technology. So let's start creating a package.json. And this folder here, you can build it anywhere in your computer. It doesn't have to be located any specific place. So we are going to just create the dependencies here. And we are going to install Express because that's the server we will be using. So save it and we are going to just run it. So npm install. Now that it has been installed, we are going to create a new file. Let's call it server.js. So right now, everything I'm doing is just for the normal, usual server. Nothing to do with this belt so far. So I have the server here and we are going to just do a nodemon server.js. So we have the server running. Let's create the express application. So we're going to require express and we're going to create the app. So we say const, let me just do this. So we have extra lines here. Const app equals express. Let's listen to port 80. So we're going to be listening to port 80 and we might have an error. So therefore we have to check it. So if we get an error, that's just a snippet. So if I have an error, I will say server cannot listen. And then I will return or else if everything went fine, I will just console.log server listening. So this will be the entry point for the listening part. And then we're going to create a route and we just need the home route. And this is going to have the rec res being the function here. We're going to res.send for now just the letter X for testing purposes. We save it. I'm going to go to the browser. I'm going to point to localhost and I do see the letter X, so that's correct. So this is the setup for Node.js. Now let's set it up with Svelte. What I'm going to do is I could create a new folder here. So this would be the server and then I can have a client. So this will be called Svelte. I can call this folder anything I want. So I'm going to install Svelte underneath this folder and download it underneath that folder. So let's go to the terminal and make sure let's have node open. So this will be the terminal that is running my server. I'm going to press control shift P and then I'm going to type rename. When I type rename and then I click or press enter, then I can give a name to this terminal. I will call it server and I will press enter again. So now I know that this terminal is for the server. I'm going to open a new terminal, press on the plus sign, and I'm going to rename this terminal. So I will press Control Shift P, and then I will type rename, press enter, and then I will call this Svelte, which will be the client, press enter. So now I have two terminals, the server that's running and the client Svelte that's running. In this client, make sure that you navigate to the Svelte folder. You can see I am not under that folder just yet, so I will do a cd Svelte. Now I am inside this folder. It's here where I want to install Svelte, so therefore I will do a, let me just give a little bit more space here, mpx, mpx digit svelte.js forward slash template 
And since we want to download the template under this folder, which is to a dot under the folder that I'm pointing at this moment. This will go ahead and download this belt. So if I show you what I have here now, it's all these belt components ready to be installed. So what I will do, we're going to install it, npm install. Remember in the video description, the same video for Apache and PHP. And what we will do is npm run dev. Now this will run our page in port 5000, but that's not what we want. We want to be running our page under our usual port, which is port 80. So I can just go ahead and close the terminal. You can see this is running and that's running. If you have issues, you can always reopen it, but closing it does not kill the running server. So we just close it. And what we will do is we just have to point in this res.send instead of sending the letter X, we are going to send the index page that belongs to Svelte. To do that and be on the safe side, we're going to just use a package called path. So we're going to say const path equals require path. And now we can point to that path. So we are going to create right here. We're going to say path.join. Oh, sorry, because we need to send the index page, right? So we say res.send file. We're going to send the page I show you. And over here, we're going to say path.join. That's a function. And now we need to traverse the places, the folders until we get to the index page. So I'm going to start saying that we are under this underscore underscore dear name. That is the actual directory comma. And then in between quotes or double quotes, I will put the folder I want to go to right now. Dear name points to the server directory, which is the main directory. So I am inside this directory that contains all these files and folders. So now I will go to this Vel folder. Then inside this Vel folder, I want to go to public. So I will do a comma public double quoted, and then I want to go to the index.html page. So I say index.html. So let's see if this works. I am going to save it, move to the browser and reload. Now you can see that I have this Vel app, but it's not displaying this Vel correctly, all the components and all the JS and the CSS. To solve this issue, we open the index page and we do a very simple trick. In front of all these paths, you can do it in this path, that path, that path, and that path. Every path that you need in this file, you just put the following HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost and port 5000. This is the port that this Vel is listening to. So what I'm just saying is hook this Node.js application to the Svelte port. So copy, paste, paste, and paste. Actually, in line number nine, you don't even need it if you don't want to have the five icon, but I want to have it, so I do it. So one, two, three, four places. Save it. I will go back to the browser and I will reload. Now I see hello world. And this is coming from Svelte, and as you can see, I am pointing to port 80 and not port 5000. A simple proof of concept. Let's go to our Svelte application now. Let's open the inside the SRC. Let's open the app.svelte and the main.js. This file and that file, app and main. So the main file is actually providing the world inside this variable and that is here this world so we just change it to a question mark i will save it you can see the browser automatically reloads i did not reload and this hello is coming from the app.svel so i will switch this to subscribe and then i will just delete that um, apostrophe save it 
and you can see it automatically reloads. A last proof of concept, I will create a simple component. Let's call it users.spell. I will create the syntax for the component, which is just a script tag. And I will have here a section. Simple section. I don't use the style for this tutorial, but if you needed it, you will put it right here. So in this section, I will write users, save it, go to the app.svelte, and I'm going to import the users component. So import users from users.svelte. If I want to use it, I am going to delete this line. I no longer want this line, for example. And I just want to use the users component right there. Save it. I will flip to the browser. I did not reload. And then I have the users here. If you like the video, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to see how I did this with PHP, just click on the link in the comment section. Thank you very much.